Hi everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel and this week's meal plan. This week is Ken's birthday week, so he's requested Chinese food. He says he's been craving it. We don't have a Chinese restaurant in town, so I'm going to cook Chinese food a few nights this week. On Monday, I'm going to make broccoli beef, rice, and crab ragoon. This is Ken's birthday week, and he has been craving Chinese food. So on the menu is going to be several Chinese inspired dishes. Tonight we're going to have broccoli beef. It's an old Weight Watcher recipe serving it with steamed rice. And this is one of my favorite, all time favorite, probably Weight Watcher recipe is this one here. To make the broccoli beef there's like three steps. The first is I have about one and one fourth pound. You could use flank steak or sirloin. This just happens to be the little bits and pieces of a loin cut into small pieces. To that, we're gonna add a tablespoon of sherry. You could use a tablespoon of Shaoshan wine. Either one is fine and a tablespoon of cornstarch and we're just going to get this all mixed together let this sit for a few minutes perfect I also have two large cloves of garlic and about a tablespoon of minced ginger we're going to set that aside too the second part is making the sauce. I have a tablespoon of cornstarch. We're going to add a tablespoon of the sherry or you could use the Shaoshan wine. I'm going to use two tablespoons of soy sauce. two tablespoons of oyster sauce two tablespoons of honey And let's see, about a fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. We're going to add a half a cup of water. And you can either add a beef bouillon cube or I'm going to add a teaspoon of this beef base. in with the beef base. Get this all stirred up. And that is going to be our Chinese brown sauce. I have about a pound and a fourth of broccoli florets. I'm adding a half a cup of water. I'm going to put some saran wrap on top and microwave this for about four to five minutes. Let's get this put together. It's really quick at this point. I have a tablespoon of oil heating up in my skillet. I'm going to add the ginger and the garlic and cook this for maybe 30 seconds. The house immediately smells good. We're going to add the beef. and cook this until it gets browned.
Now I'm just going to add the sauce that we made. Give it a stir. Bring this to a boil and allow it to thicken. Meanwhile, I microwaved the broccoli with that little bit of water, and then I cut a slit in it, uh, the saran wrap, and carefully with my mittens, drained off any water after it had cooked. And then all you need to do is put the sauce on it and give it a stir. It's that simple. And this is really good broccoli beef. This is a Weight Watcher friendly recipe. They have something similar in their Take five cookbook. Then just gently go ahead and give this a toss till everything's coated. You can serve the broccoli beef just like this if you want to go really low carb, or you can serve it with steamed rice. Just gonna put some of that broccoli beef all over the rice. Delicious. Oops, get back here. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're having for dinner. Broccoli beef and steamed rice. I'm also gonna make some crab ragoon. Let me show you how easy this is. To make the crab ragoon, you need eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Uh, let's see, this is a six ounce can of crab meat drained. And then just mix the crab meat into the cream cheese. Then place a teaspoon of the filling in the middle of the wonton skins. And the temptation is to overfill them. Don't do that. Take water and place it on two sides. And then I just fold over, trying to get the air out of it. Press it and put it on a plate and repeat. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. We're gonna deep fry these and they're not gonna take long at all. Fry the wontons in some hot oil until they're golden brown. It doesn't take that long. Just remove the wontons when they get some nice color and put it on a paper towel lined plate. Let them cool for a minute or two and then you can serve them. They're delicious. On Tuesday, we're gonna have sweet and sour pork and rice. We plan on doing a lot of yard work this day. We're getting um, some trees from our landscaper and it's all hands on deck. I have a pound of pork cut into cubes, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and I just wanna coat the pork with the cornstarch. In this pie plate, I have two eggs that I used a fork and whipped them together and some flour, about a cup in here. So into the egg. And then into the flour. I'm gonna get the rest of these coated and my hands washed. I have the oil heating up and we're gonna start adding the pork pieces one at a time. We'll cook them until they're golden brown. You can tell they're done by the color and they float to the surface and also the sound of the oil changes. I'm gonna get these 
strained out and onto some paper towels so they can soak up any extra oil. Get the next batch in. Once you fry up all the pork, go ahead and put it aside and we'll make the sauce now. To make the sauce, in my bowl I have one tablespoon of cornstarch, a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to add a cup of pineapple juice I drained from a can of chunk pineapple. A fourth a cup of ketchup. And one half cup of rice vinegar. And then if you want optional, you can add three drops of red food coloring. Get this all mixed together. In addition to the sauce, you will need one onion sliced, a red bell pepper chunked, a green bell pepper chunked, and this is that 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks. We reserve the pineapple juice to make the sauce. And I have two cloves of garlic minced. To make the sauce, I have about a tablespoon of oil heating up in the skillet. I'm gonna add the onion. Season with a little bit of salt. We're gonna to continue to cook this until they start to soften a little. Now that the onions are starting to get soft, we're gonna add the peppers. Gonna cook those for a few minutes. The peppers are starting to cook down, so I'm gonna add the garlic. Now we're gonna add the pineapple. It's been a couple more minutes. Now I'm just gonna add the sauce that we made. We're gonna bring it up to temperature, let it simmer and thicken. After it comes to a simmer, I let it cook for two or three more minutes. This is looking really good. I'm gonna pour it onto our fried pork and get it mixed. And then just go ahead and pour the sweet and sour sauce onto the pork. We're gonna get this all mixed together. Looks great. And then just go ahead and spoon the sweet and sour pork over the rice. Looks amazing. It smells so good, you guys. And there you go, sweet and sour pork over steamed rice. Wednesday, I'm gonna make Kung Pao chicken and serving it over rice with egg rolls and a sweet dipping sauce. In my bowl, I have about a pound of chicken breast that I've cut into cubes. I'm adding one tablespoon of corn starch and a tablespoon of sherry. You could use the Shaoshan wine. Give this a mix. And we're gonna let this sit for just a few minutes before we stir fry it. To make the sauce, we're gonna use a tablespoon of honey. I went ahead and sprayed my measuring spoon. We're gonna add two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. There's one. Two. two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using a reduced sodium. 
And then finally, we'll spray our measuring spoon. This is a teaspoon measure. And we're going to add a teaspoon of sesame oil. This is really strong flavored. Mix all this together. That's going to be our sauce. In addition to the chicken and the sauce that we made, we have three green onions. I put the white parts here and I have the green tops there. We have a third a cup of peanuts, a handful of these red chilies, if you like things spicy, <laughs> and then two cloves of garlic, about a tablespoon of ginger, and I added a fourth a teaspoon of red pepper flakes because we do like it spicy. At this point, this dish is going to go together really quick. In my frying pan, I have a tablespoon of oil heating up. I'm going to add the ginger, the garlic, the white part of the green onion, and the red pepper. We're going to cook this for about 30 seconds. It smells fragrant already. Now we're just going to add the chicken and cook this until it's all the way cooked through. Now that the chicken has cooked, we're going to add the sauce. And we're going to cook this until it comes to a boil and reduces a little bit and coats the chicken. At the very end, I just add the third cup of peanuts. We're going to get this spooned over some steamed rice. It smells wonderful. Then just go ahead and put some of that chicken over the top. Hit it with some green onions. It looks great. Tonight I'm gonna to make some egg rolls and these are the ingredients I'm using. A pound of ground pork, two cloves of garlic, about a tablespoon of minced ginger. I have six green onions. I chopped the white parts and the green parts. A couple tablespoons of cilantro six mushrooms that I just chopped up, a handful of shredded carrot, and some shredded and chopped cabbage. And this is about, between the two of these, a good two cups. In my pan, I have a tablespoon of oil heating up. I'm gonna add the onions, garlic, and ginger, and I think I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes because I want mine a little spicy. We're going to saute this for about 30 seconds. Now add the pork and go ahead and brown it. The pork is starting to brown so I'm going to add my mushrooms and cook those with the porks. Pork is cooked and all of the moisture has gotten out of the mushrooms. I'm going to add the carrots and the cabbage. Cook this for a couple of minutes. Finally, we're going to add the green onion tops and the cilantro. Give this a nice stir and then turn off the heat. We want to let the filling cool for a few minutes before making the egg rolls. I'm going to season with a little bit of salt to taste. We didn't add any salt because it would have pulled a lot of moisture from the vegetables. Go ahead and place a couple of tablespoons of filling on the egg roll wrapper and then dip your fingers in water and moisten the two edges. And I like to put the filling a little bit back on the one corner. And then as you roll, tuck the sides. You kinda wanna get it as tight as you can. And there you go. We're gonna get these fried up. Fry the egg rolls in hot grease until they get golden brown and crispy. Then when the egg rolls get golden brown, go ahead and drain them on a paper towel lined plate. Let them cool for just a little bit and then I like to serve it with some 
sweet dipping sauce. You could always do egg roll in a bowl if you didn't want to have the fried wonton skins. Thursday we had Vietnamese food. We were in Massachusetts and it was really, really good. The two things that stood out in my mind was how fresh everything was and we had the pho and that broth was, oh my gosh, like such dimension to the uh, broth. Amazing. We ordered the pho, Ken and I did. And then it has sprouts and peppers and lime. And I believe this is Thai basil. Friday, we celebrated Ken's birthday at Theodore's Barbecue in Springfield, Massachusetts. It was excellent barbecue. I was pretty shocked because I'm a barbecue snob. <laughs> And it was really good, you guys. We ordered just a ton of different barbecue and we're all sharing. We have ribs and brisket and pulled pork and hot legs. So we're all gonna try it and see what we like. Saturday, we attended a wedding, so we ate dinner there. And it, the bride, she was so cute, you guys, so beautiful. Sunday, Ken's request was to grill some steaks, brandied mushrooms, baked potato, asparagus, tossed salad. I told him, I said, I don't even have room to write all that on here. But his birthday week is over. <laughs> uh, we had a good time though. Ken's grilling some steaks. I have about a tablespoon of butter in the pan and I'm just sauteing some mushrooms with a little salt and pepper. I'm gonna turn the heat off and add about a half a cup of brandy. Now you could be adventuresome and flambe it, but I'm not gonna do that tonight. I'm just gonna cook it on a low heat and let that brandy infuse into the mushrooms. We'll use this as a garnish for the steaks and it's gonna be delicious. For dinner, we're having New York strip steak, brandied mushrooms, asparagus, a baked potato with sour cream and chives and a nice tossed salad with a little bit of blue cheese dressing. As far as my grocery list, it's mainly produce. We're gonna run to Walmart and knock out this shopping. We have to go to town anyway to take Ken's car in. I'm hoping to get to Macy's. It's all good. Ken and I went to Walmart and did a, a grocery haul. We got some romaine hearts, broccoli, couple things of cilantro, one bunch of parsley, some shredded carrots, zucchini squash, zucumber, and ginger. We also got some asparagus, some bell peppers, garlic, green beans, snow peas, limes, three packages of green onions, some mushrooms, some grape tomatoes, and some fresh mozzarella. I thought I would do a caprese salad because I have um, basil groin. That would be nice. I did pick up some chicken breast and some pork. I'm going to do a whole um, Chinese takeout kind of thing dinner this week. We have a bunch of workers coming. I thought it'd be nice and something different. Parmesan cheese. I got egg roll wrappers and wonton wrappers. I went ahead and I picked up a couple packages of the O'Brien potatoes. My grocery store here in town doesn't even have these, you guys, I'm telling you. And some flour tortillas and a loaf of bread. Our total for our haul, $82.43, not too bad. Well, you know my budget took a hit this week, but it was so worth it because the kids started back to school uh, today and we got to celebrate, you know, Ken's birthday and we had such a wonderful time as a family. I tell you, we got a hotel room that had a kitchen so a lot of the meals and snacks and drinks and all that stuff was wonderful because we saved so much money. Okay, so let's take a look. I had $1,072.05 saved up. My budget is $240 for the week. So if you add those two together, that brings me to 131205. However, <laughs> I did spend the 8243 at Walmart. I also ran back to a uh, price chopper here in town 
and spent $4.48. I needed to get more green onions and mushrooms. And then our dinner at the Vietnamese restaurant was $110.05 and $1.90.89 for the barbecue place for a total of $3.87.85 and if you take that away from that it brings my grand total to $9.24.20 so that's where I'm at with my budget I hope you guys have a fantastic week happy meal planning and until the next video talk to you guys later